Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me for a quick session. I want to just review a property that we found this week, and we think it could be an interesting investment opportunity for you guys. I want to go over the advantages and disadvantages so you have a better understanding. So we are going to do a quick session, a few minutes, go over the details. Hopefully, you can benefit either learning on this one or all together learning about other properties. Okay, so this one is located in the metro of Birmingham, Alabama. Now, I want to mention that this is about 25, I'll go over the details, about 25, actually less, 25 miles from downtown Birmingham in a very desirable city, in a very desirable area. The schools are, very, you know, higher, higher end schools. Um, Anytime I see something below 300,000 in this area, I get fully excited. I always look for a reason what's happening, why they are not very common, but I'm very excited because this is exactly in this uh, city, which is very desirable. If you, of course, if you want the full details and the address, you let me know and you let us know and we'll share that with you. Uh, so that's kind of uh, already a good starting point. I would say this is an A area, A schools a desirability altogether so that is exciting uh let's dive into a few of the details it's a bit dated not too much uh actually it has a lot of updates been done to it recently it is three bedrooms two bathrooms almost 1600 square feet built in 1991 schools are 24 the rating it's a total rating is 24 out of 30 if you're not sure what that means we are adding up the school rating. In this case, it's a 10 plus eight plus six, you get 24 out of 30. 30 means all 10 schools will be 30. So it's a 24 out of 30. And it's been on the market for 200 days. I'm gonna address that in a moment. So it's been on the market for quite a long time. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, and asking, of course, our asking is 280,000. They started with a high, higher asking price um, and slowly lowered the price, very slowly. Now, it has a, a coding. We have not seen this house inside. Uh, we don't have any additional information, whatever is publicly shared with us at the moment. That does not, does not mean we will not investigate. We will once we have an interested buyer, like we always do, we start a discovery process, getting more information, uh, before even maybe submitting an offer. And of course, after submitting an offer and inspection and all of that, yeah, I think most of you know the drill, but we are basing uh, this explanation on what we know at the moment. So it's uh, so they, they have updated, it's a brand new roof and there's been a lot of updates internally and you can see from the photos on painting and updating and uh, stainless appliances and it's, uh, you know, new sink and new backsplash and a lot of updates been done to this house. Uh, so it's not in a bad shape at all. From what I can tell um, from the photos, the floors are okay. I think they may, they could probably use uh, some coat. Uh, or some touch-ups because they seem from the photos, it's hard to tell for exactly. There, there, there are some chips uh, here and there to the floors. I'm saying it carefully because it's just sometimes uh, pictures don't really tell exactly if it's chipped or not. So my guess, the floors, which are not carpets, need to be maybe repainted or something kind of, you know, touching them a little bit. It can even, you, you can even do nothing and that's okay. It's not in a horrible shape. I'm just saying, uh, visually, when there are no furnitures, it just looks, you know, those imperfections, you know, stand out even more. Uh, it has a, a fenced backyard and a screen porch, both very nice bonuses, especially the fenced backyard is something that always makes the property more desirable as a rental, just because families with younger kids or, and or pets love those fenced backyards. It's not a must have, it's a nice to have for sure. And also being on the cul-de-sac, uh, very nice. So it's very, the American dream, a typical community, um, being in a 1991 house, being, meaning it's 30 years old, I'm gonna assume there's gonna be some things that needs to be updated. 
Um, I wouldn't be surprised if by now HVAC and um, HVAC and uh, the water here have been replaced. Probably, uh, I don't know for a fact. I'm just assuming. Maybe not. That's okay too. Uh, so a lot of this house hits a lot of those um, uh, check marks that I like to see the location, the city, the schools, the age, the the, the pretty much rent ready or very close to be rent ready. So that means very little out of pocket is needed. You know, I'm going to assume there's, there's there's always going to be something, but you know, uh, looks in good condition. So this house almost looks like and sounds like it's very ready to be rented immediately or very quickly with minimal work needed to be done, which is always a nice thing to have. So that's uh, about the house. If we are looking at the numbers. So first of all, I want to say, uh, I see that I made a, a typo here with the days on market. I'm sorry, it should be 200. Um, it shows 68. I'm going to, I'm, I apologize about that. But we know that this house has been on the market and I think they started uh, listing it at maybe 290 or something like that. So they did drop the price a little bit, uh, not a lot over, over time. So it's been uh, vacant of, I don't know, I'm not sure. I think it's vacant. I'm not sure, but it's been listed on and off for a very long time. They are asking right now for 279, 900. So basically 280, 200,000. The rent we estimate to be seven, uh, 1750 to 1900, maybe a bit more. We're just being a bit, a bit cautious about uh, the rent. So based on those numbers and today's interest rate, um, we believe that an offer of 260 will make it a more cash flow friendly and have some equity. So I look at this deal and I'll, you'll see the cash flow in a moment as a deal that it's not going to be a cash cow, but if we, if we can get it for 260 and I don't know if we can, I'm just suggesting it is what makes sense to us that this house could work if we can get it for 260. And so we have a little bit of a cash flow and we get a better equity starting point in a very good, desirable community that can be, you know, working in your benefit. So the starting point is much uh, nicer, more equity upfront, a little bit of cash flow. That'll be nice. Now, if we're getting it for 260, the working assumption based on all the expenses is that this house will generate about $120 a month. Or, or close to $1,500 a year in cash flow after expenses. So that's kind of the working assumption. That's what I'm saying. This one, just on the cash flow, it's okay. Not that attractive. The fact that we can buy it for 260, hopefully, uh, where it's worth probably more 270-ish, uh, maybe 275, that's a nice starting point uh, to give us a little bit of an edge. So. Let's talk about the 250, the 260 offer price. Can you really get it? Well, I don't know. We'll have to submit an offer. What is what would be my strategy here? That I would say if you can come in with a 260,000 cash offer. Not everybody can do it, but many of our clients do have the ability to temporarily make a $260,000 offer and then bring the financing it's in, in a in a in a in a delayed manner, we call it delayed financing, then you will be, you'll have this property both financed and make it, you know, uh, make a cash offer to work in your adventure. So my, I think the ideal situation would be, or ideal scenario would be, make a cash offer if you can and do the delayed financing. And I, we can explain about delayed financing in a, we have a, a video explaining what that is um, on a separate video. So do you have to do the cash offer and delayed financing? No, you don't. The only reason is we want to help the seller accept a lower offer of 260. And in order to help this offer get accepted, um, we want to offer them both cash as well as closer or faster to close, maybe two to three weeks to close, which can only be done with cash. So if you have that ability, again, I'm emphasizing this is not a cash offer and stay cash in the deal this is a cash offer and then bring the financing at what in what we call delayed financing so it's just breaking the 
purchase with a mortgage into two phases or two steps, not bringing it all at the same time. And the reason we call it or use delayed financing is because we're going to get the same rates, interest rates, like purchase money when you buy the property outright with a mortgage. If you are in a position that you cannot make a cash offer and you're still wondering, should you? The answer is yes, absolutely. Let's give it a shot. Will we be able to, will we be successful? I really don't know. I do know this. 200 days on the market, that already it says something. When we put the offer many times or almost always, especially when it's a more of a challenging offer for the seller, I work personally, I work with the agent to put together the details in order to just to explain, to justify, to provide uh, 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 some explanation to the seller to accept our offer and why we're offering 260. So if you're at that position and you're not sure, give, let's give it a shot. I call it, let's create an engagement. What's the worst that's going to happen? They're going to say no. Okay. Not, not a problem. We already don't own this house anyway. So by all means, let's give it a shot. In my opinion, this house is Ex located in a really well located in terms of the, the metro and the city and the school in a very desirable area. So I think this is uh, lowers a lot of the uh, potential downside of issues with tenants or issues with with uh, with a future selling price. I think there's an opportunity because of it's been sitting on the market. It's very desirable um, cash. You can definitely buy cash and keep in cash. No problem. Right. So cash offer ideal. Uh, cash with delayed financing, it would be also an option, no problem. Uh, cash flow is tight at the moment with the expectation for, of it to go up over time when, in, when interest rates go down, as well as when, as well as uh, uh, rent goes up. So obviously this is not for life, it's just for the next few years until we improve on the rent and the expenses. Um, and I like this one because it seems almost rent ready. Now it's maybe easy even and more rent ready than I think. I'm just assuming a 1991 house will need some work. Um, that'll be something that just to be ready for. Uh, I wanted to share with you two recent reviews that we received. One of them on the left is something that was just made my weekend. Uh, I received it about a week ago, I believe, from one of our long-term clients. And when he said highly professional, consistent, with very strong network of experts, working with Simply Do It is great experience and a huge satisfied, satisfied success. I've been working with them for many, many years and highly recommend them since they are top leaders in what they do. Great job, Danny and team Asaf. So thank you for, I already thank the, uh, this person because this is really um, great to receive. Always appreciative. I wanted to share that with you uh, in case you are not already our clients and not already know the quality of work that we bring and try to provide to our clients. Here's our contact information. You're most welcome to ask about this property, other properties, obviously, or not obviously, we're not only in Birmingham, Alabama. I just wanted to kind of spotlight this property for me was, uh, more of an exceptional property opportunity than what I see on an ongoing basis. So you're most welcome to join, uh, to reach out, to ask. The code for this one, I believe, is uh, property code 1541 in uh, Metro Birmingham. 1541. Thank you very much for your time and for the attention. I hope to hear from you, to talk to you. Have a terrific rest of your day.